Closing market comments for Monday, February the 8th. Markets opened about unchanged last night and then rallied quickly, with corn eventually making new highs for the contract. Funds lowered their position slightly last week, but still remain long 405,600 contracts of corn and 144,800 contracts of soybeans as of last Tuesday the 2nd. Uh, in other news, uh, Philippines is looking for wheat, trying to buy 230,000 metric tons of feed wheat from the Black Sea region. China sold 1.72 million metric tons of their wheat reserves over the weekend. That was 43% of what was offered. Brazil soybean harvest is at 4% across the whole country, with more rain predicted slowing harvest. Mato Grosso in the northern region is 11% harvested compared to 32% average. It is the largest soybean producing province in the country. Corn planting in Mato Grosso, the Safrina double crop is at 8%. That compares to 39% last year and 33% average. China has continued to report problems with African swine fever, foot and mouth disease, and PEDV. Vietnam reported that they had bird flu and killed a 100,000 bird flock because of it. The U.S. did pass their, and Senate, passed a $1.9 trillion COVID package. It's now in negotiations between them to come up with a final bill. The dollar today, as I said, started out uh, higher early, but did sell off and close lower on the day. Uh, and uh, the Chinese yuan was at the highest level against the dollar in over two years. So that is helping on the export side for us. Weekly ep export shipments were released with corn at 62.1 million compared to 43.9 the previous week and 31 last year with 35 to 55 expected and 55.8 needed. We are only 33% shipped on corn of the total uh, that the government is projecting. On soybeans, 66.2 million were shipped last week, down slightly from the 70.1 the previous week but above last year at 22.4 with 37 to 73 expected and 14.6 needed. We are currently 81% shipped on beans at this time, so well ahead of the corn pace as would be expected with Brazil's bean crop coming on now. Wheat shipments were at 16.2 million, up from 15.2 the previous week and below last year at 20.9 with 13 to 20 expected and 22.5 needed, so we're going to have to kick it up on the wheat to get that reach the expectation of the year. The dollar ended the day today down 77 points. Gold was up $17.90, and silver was up 516 points on the day. Crude oil continues its rally, closing up $1.23 at 5808. Hard to imagine a little over a year ago, it was, or about a year ago, it was trading at negative $40. Stocks had a better day again today. Dow futures up 241, NASDAQ up 85, and the S&P up 29. Remember that the USDA does release the, WASD, the February WASD report. Traders are expecting a guess on wheat at 834 million ending stocks. That's just below January at 836. On corn, ending stocks at 1.392 billion, down from 1.552 billion and 1.919 last year. Soybeans at 123 down from 140 in January with the low end of the range at 105. So we'll have to see last year the estimate was 525. So big change. There is talk of lower world stocks as well. We'll have to see how they come out. Tomorrow's going to be a big day with the report. Thanks for watching.